Hello! We are showing three things in the kitchen today. <laughs> How is everybody? How is everybody? Every time, I'll fix this really fast. Every time we say we're only going to show one thing, we end up showing like 10 things. Because oh. we're so excited about so many things. So <laughs> we think we're going to run out of things to show and talk about, and I don't think that's going to happen. No, I don't think it's okay, ever going to happen. Fix this. So we're trying to go live on our Facebook and Instagram again. So if you want to join in on Facebook, but hello, how's everybody doing? Okay, so on Swiss Days, we had a follower that came Samantha. up to us, Samantha, and she said, I want to give you this cookie. And she brought it, and what did she tell us? She said, it's amazing, but she said, you guys need to make it your own with your Kamut flour and whatever else you want to do with well, it. Well, she said, it's the best sugar cookie she's ever had. Hi, hi guys, ever hi. had. And so we created this, and this recipe has worked amazing with our Kamut flour. It's amazing. Amazing. And just for the new people, recap really, 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 really fast on Kamut. Um, it's an ancient grain that is super healthy, and we're going to put a whole post on our website because we don't want to talk about it forever. But this is what's crazy, is Kamut flour is healthier for you, but it makes everything taste better. It does. It's weird. It is weird. Tell them why you think it does that. I don't know. It's the taste, it's the texture, it's the digestibility, but there's, it's the most buttery, wheat you've ever seen it's so beautiful and i don't know what it does but this taste ups everything it ups everything it, so what's the beauty of it is it replaces your all-purpose flour this is the beauty this is not going to be a life-changing altering crazy like oh no now i'm cooking oh, with whole wheat nothing no, like that no this is amazing stuff and it's so good okay we we have a couple of comments um what was this? I had a dream last night that I bought Kamut. <laughs> well, let's make that a reality. That's a fun Signs dream. are pointing that, that your dream needs to happen. Your dream yes. needs to happen. It's just, it's, it's got so many um, good things about it, including energy. It gives you energy. It also helps with the common cold. It helps with hormones. It's, it's an amazing flower, a white grain that is superior to any other white grain and then the whole grain superior to any other whole grain but the taste you're gonna die and i don't know i have to have it every day yeah I, there I was an interesting um i had a girl come and get kamut yesterday and this is interesting what she said super fast she was saying that her daughter has noticed that when she goes um after she goes to bed and has eaten white flour all day she wakes up puffy and and feels like she really bloated is, or something. yeah bloated and yeah. having this like allergic reaction um to white flour so she came and got more 50 pound bags so anyways it was we're, we're hearing lots of fun stories okay i have the best in-laws ever they flew in 100 pounds of kamut from you guys excited to make this cookie with the kamut that's amazing okay, okay. these these cookies i've never had anything like them lizzie have you uh, oh, they said you don't need more energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, but I, I, it's giving me more energy, and I do need it. <laughs> she seriously doesn't. I've been she makes tired me the exhausted. last two days. <laughs> yeah, she's been actually out of it the last two days. <laughs> I've been tired. Okay, where can I pick it up? So you can find Kamut on our website, thefoodnanny.com. You can purchase two five-pound bags that will fit in a $13 flat rate box. We can't ship the 50 right now because it's way too expensive. It's super heavy. So we have the pickups for now. My dream is back on as ever. As I'm <laughs> opening a store. <laughs> Lizzie said this morning. Really that's fired it. up. We're opening a store. That's it. This I, is what we're doing. Call, a food, call Mr. Food Nanny. Call Nanny. Mr. Food Nanny. <laughs> SOS. I'm calling all the girls. I'm very upset. I want a store. We have so much to share. Lizzie we, says, no, we've just got to do it. No, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. There's too many things that we love in the kitchen. That's all what we're about. It's completely the kitchen. 
creating kitchen art, creating this amazing fun space. It's amazing I'm lifestyle. Creating fun things for you to be cooking on and everything. Dang it, SOS, <laughs> SOS again. Okay, so you can, um, there's pickups. There's a Midway pickup, there's a Highland pickup, and if you really want to go all the way to Woodland, it's not Woodland Hills. That's like the number one question. It's up by Camus, so it's far. So, anyways, DM me for the it's information so if you want to see me. Okay, in my new kitchen. My kitchen's getting remodeled, <laughs> and it's slowly getting there. I can't wait to go and show that too, Lizzie. Okay, um, I would like to try Camus. Is it gluten free, and where can I? It get is it? not gluten free, but it's gluten tolerant. This is we have not found one gluten free person yet that cannot use it, and that's the beauty of it. Austria and Italy have done many, many tests. Um, the tests were actually performed for the very uh, in the beginning in Austria, and long story short, they proved that um, so many gluten free people can have it because of the digestibility, because there's less gluten in this flour. So it's amazing. We've got Italy, um, who's taking seventy percent of all the kamut that's grown. And they're using it in their pizza, their pasta, their breads. And we're finding that everybody we know that buys it can have it. Celiac, no. We did have one woman with celiac that bought it and has used it. And she must not be on the far side of celiac. She must be on the lower side of celiac. And she says she, it's working for her. So that's amazing. And the people that we work with at our Kamut office, they say that they have heard of it as well. So... Um, gluten free, it is not, but it's definitely gluten tolerant. I'll bet you can use it. Yeah. So, um, okay, I really don't bake. What would you suggest for my first bread? I would make the Kamut bread, honestly. That's on the package. That's on the package. Too many um, women have said they've never been able to make bread, and, it's and now they can make bread. And favorite bread in the world. They're telling us, I made this recipe up just for the Kamut flour. It is to see. die for. We have to have it every day. My gosh, that is so nice. Thank is, you. Somebody is, is saying the nicest comments. That is okay, so nice. I want to buy some and use it instead of regular wheat <laughs> and hope that my kids won't get their dad's celiac disease. This will, this will help. This will help. Okay, so to start with the lime cookie, it's very self-explanatory. I was like, we're not going to mix up the dough in front of you. But what you do need, um, we lately more than ever, I will tell you this, is we are doing cold butter. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I, working for It's us. really working. And the reasons it's working is because I think my cookies are fluffier. Um, what are the other reasons you think? I know that that's for me what I'm seeing. I think They're it's fluffier. the main thing and chewier. I don't know what it is. It's a good but combination. See, see how like good and thick these are? These are really, really good. Lizzie, so, Lizzie, I was saying a minute ago, I've never had a cookie like this. Uh, with, I need a, you know, sorry, lime, you're like. Lime right on top of that cookie. And, and so the reason the lime is on it is you're squeezing the juice onto this. So this is crazy. So the cookie is, um, we're going to post the recipe. You make it exactly the way that it says. But I will tell you that cold butter is like life changing right now. And parchment then, paper too. Oh yeah, and parchment paper. We always use parchment paper. I wanted to have this out for you. If you go to Orson Gigi, I know they have an online store for all of you that don't live in Utah as well. You can buy pre-cut parchment paper for your um, cake pans. I didn't know that until recently. Yeah. Um, because I was like cutting it out myself. I think it's kind of new. I think and it's kind of new. It's probably not. I <laughs> probably not. <laughs> and then you can buy the parchment paper for this. And the reason we like the parchment paper is not only will it keep your cookie sheets from not looking gross super fast. Um, I know that some people say that the fat will make it so it doesn't stick. I just always love to use it because I think it bakes it evenly. That's the difference that I see with parchment paper. The difference too is they're so beautiful on the under underneath. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. They cook they're even. They're beautiful. Yeah, 
they're not too brown. They're Hi, not guys. too light. You know, they're perfect. On how the do you, okay, so how do you cream the butter when it's cold? Shocking. Same way. It, it, it goes. It, it doesn't, it doesn't go in big clumps. It doesn't do anything like that. So just slowly start mixing it in. It's perfect. But the cold butter is a huge difference because some, um, some say put your, uh, your dough in the fridge to chill before you bake it. It can help it. They say you can freeze it before, but I feel like with cold butter, you're taking out the step of all of that. So t try it. Really uh, try it. I really, really like it. Okay. What about the rubber cookie sheets? Those are fine. Those are fine. We have, we know somebody that uses those. Yeah. I don't love them. I don't I know don't what either. it is. I can't get used to those rubber products. I, it's like, wait a minute, do, do I really have um, uh, the oven proof mitt on? Do, is this really working? For some reason, for me, the rubber just doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work for me either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Parchment paper, I just feel like it always works. It cooks evenly. Like she said, you get this beautiful on the bottom. It's, I love They it. just look so professional. I love it. They're so professional. And this cookie, seriously, Samantha, I mean, Lizzie, it's I've to made die myself for. sick. I was up it's, last night like I was it's sick to die for. The minute we tasted it, we knew. We yeah. I had never eaten a cookie that you squoze lime. No, on top I had of. never even seen anything I, like I've that. I've never seen anything like it. It's it's so delicious. Okay. So good. Um She said, Do you dice the butter or put it in his hole? I put it in his hole. You can cut the butter up. With but a knife, I don't. if you want to. I don't. Yeah, I do it both ways. Whatever. I've done Just it both ways. Just put it in. Put it in cold. Yeah. You will love it. I'm not kidding. I swear my cookies are turning out fluffier. I, I think they are. And Lizzie, you don't have to use a KitchenAid. You can use a handheld mixer yes, to yes, do this with. Yes, of course so, you can. So you need a handheld mixer to use cold butter or a KitchenAid or a Bosch, something like that. Okay, um, someone may have already asked, but Lizzie, where is your jacket? This is made well. <laughs> Big shocker. That's super nice. I am making your moot bread as we type this. Yes. Oh, yes. You're going to Our love good it. friend at Sage Hill Cottage. Follow her. She's so cute and nice. We love her. Do you store the cookies in the fridge once they are made? No. So this is what I'm saying. We don't do that. Um... We've, we've given those tips the last time that we did cookies, but I'm just saying do the cold butter, start baking it right away, and I'm not kidding. Look how fluffy. Look how fluffy and amazing these turned out, okay? So, uh, yes, we'll be posting this recipe right after this as a swipe up, and we'll post the recipe. But I think she wanted to know um, where we put keep the cookies after we make them. I think that's what she, after they're finished, right? Oh, oh yes. okay, okay. Yeah, yes. so yes, put them in the refrigerator. Um, what I would do with these, um, you're not going to be able to eat the whole batch of cookies. So I would frost them and then I would freeze them. I would carefully freeze them. And then and put then, the lime. Yes, when you take them out, put the lime on top. That's what I would do. Unless you're going to have a big party and, and eat, be able to use and eat all of these. Okay, heads up. If you use the cold butter in a Bosch with a cookie paddle, it will break the plastic part of the paddle. Mm, really? That hasn't happened yeah, to me. Yeah, but I'm not using the, the plastic, plastic paddle. We're using the... Well, this show... This is what we're using. We're using this. Yeah. This is the best paddle. This is the one that we use, and this is metal. So maybe there's a plastic one. Okay, so when you, when you make up the dough, you roll it out on a lightly floured surface, and then you're just gonna use your biscuit cutter, and it will tell you the instructions all in the recipe, okay? So then I put about three on the parchment paper, I put about three cookies, now, you don't want to overcook these. Sugar cookies, I cannot stand if they are overbaked. I have to take them out when they're looking lightly brown or even a little undercooked because once you bring them out, they're going to cook more. And there's nothing worse than a dry sugar cookie. There is nothing worse. So then you just take them out. The frosting is what is incredible. You're adding mm. um, coconut extract. And I wanted to explain one thing about the coconut ex extract. Our Smiths, so that would be like King's, Smiths, Kroger, Kroger brand. I cannot find 
the coconut extract there. It's driving me crazy. So there's a coconut flavoring, but it is not the same. No. I, trust me, I have ruined many batches of different, um, like I had a cake that I was trying to do with coconut extract. It's not the same. No. Why is it not the same? Well, because it's fake. Yeah. Yeah. Lemon imitation. It's imitation. So so you want the real lemon extract. No, coconut. I mean, I meant coconut. So you have to have the coconut extract. So go find that at any other grocery store. Smith's needs to bring it back. I don't know what happened to him. But the frosting, okay, so what are we going to say? Sorry. Oh, 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 I was going to say, you guys, Lizzie is a master baker. No, I'm not I am kidding. Not. She is. She keeps saying, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. But honestly, her, she is incredible at baking. Her cakes, her cookies. I've never had better. I've never had better Stop from it. anybody. Stop it. Her cakes and cookies are insane. And her brownies. <laughs> it doesn't matter what she bakes. She's even becoming a master at bread. But she's incredible and she knows all the tips the funniest part is, is that she she's likes got it to act perfect. like perfect she's the bread one and i'm the baked good i think it's because i'm the one that's eating the cookies you can see it more <laughs> oh right right i can't no she's more of a perfectionist when it comes to the cakes and the cookies and the brownies and the cupcakes she's more of a perfectionist than me and i just love it because my word, she's her her cookies are perfection. That's and very they nice. taste perfection. So listen to her when it comes to this baking stuff. Oh stop, that's so nice. Okay, um so you squeeze the lime on top when you eat them. Yes. Yes, you squeeze the lime. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Um my food nanny, I love you and your family. Thank so you. So nice. I live in Thank northern you. Utah. Um and Edwards has every flavor. Oh, that's amazing. Northern oh. Utah. Nice. Smith's and Edwards. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Is this your daughter? So, yes, we're yes. both a mother-daughter um, team. Instagram team. <laughs> so, I'm now calling myself the food nanny as well. Yes. Yes. We're food nannies. That's just going to be the easiest. We're the yeah. food nannies. Um, you, we'll tell our story some other time, but yes, we do this together. She created the food nanny, but now we're a team on here and saving dinner one rescue at a time. Okay. I, I did make these for a wedding luncheon last week and we made the cookies ahead of time, frosted them right before and put the lime wedge right on top. Perfect. As we plated them. Perfect. And that's another great idea. If you don't want to frost them before you freeze them, wait for the frosting and the lime. So how thick do you, you do roll it out the dough? Way. I think it said about a half inch thick. It will tell you exactly in the recipe how to do it. So long story short, you're baking the cookies to perfection. And then our frosting is very easy. It's got, I, this is not all the frosting that it makes, but you're adding four cups of powdered sugar. You're adding one zest of fresh Right here. Grated lime. Where's my thing? If you don't have one of these, I love this microplane. You can get this at Orson Gigi too, but you can get this anywhere, right? Yeah. And you just zest a full lime into your frosting. And then you've got um, heavy cream that's in it. And this was something that the recipe did say. It says if you don't have, if there's not enough heavy cream that's added then add a little bit more and i had to add a little bit more so just make sure to watch that because it's only like two tablespoons but i had to add a little bit more to just get the right consistency to spread on your cookie so make sure your cookies are cool and then i'll just show you you don't want too thick of a lime on it so i'll try to show you this really fast okay i'm trying to okay so you're gonna cut your lime in half then we're gonna cut it again, and then you're gonna cut it. I can't get those to go down. One uh, more time. One more time. And then it's the perfect little wedge, and then you just place it on the cookie, and then let the person individually squeeze the juice on top. Yum, it's, yum. It's You guys, good. it really is that good, and I think it's the frosting, mm. because I dye with the coconut extract, yeah. and then it's got it's, the lime in it. So It's incredible. It's incredible. And it's a really great recipe. It fluffed up amazing. I used exactly the six cups of Kamut. Now, just remember that you're not going to do a heaping cup of Kamut. It's a little more dense, like we've told you. So just go a little shy under a cup and you're perfect. You're going to add the exact same amount of cup. 
Um, this is what's so great about the Camus. It's not this crazy different, you know? No. Okay, no. so we're gonna show you, we'll show you, oh, we, we were gonna show them how to frost it. Yeah. Okay, but so, tell them about the Halloween cookies okay, super so, fast. Um, so, one of the biggest traditions, but now we're moving on to Halloween. I said, Lizzie, are you sure we want to show this lime cookie at Halloween time? And she said, yes, because well, people were demanding our followers for it. want it. And so now you have two cookies to have for your Halloween parties. And I think it's a great mix, actually. Yeah. So the number... Because it's now October yes. and we're going to get all things pumpkin just like... And everybody yes. else is going crazy. Yeah, we're going pump. pumpkin and lots of different things yeah, yeah. for October. Yeah. But the fun, one of the most traditional and fun things to do at Halloween time is to make sugar cookies Halloween style. And that is a tradition for many, many households. Yeah. So where did Halloween even start? Do you even know? No. Ireland. Yeah, it started way back with the Celtics. Anyway, it was interesting. When I was in Germany, um, they actually celebrate it there, as they do in Ireland. Um, and they, in Germany, they like to go to the castles. Wow. And to the sc more scary castles. Um, they like to have bonfires. They like to have lots of candy. More candy is sold at Halloween than even Christmas or um, Valentine's. That's crazy. Which so is lots, crazy. Lots of candy. So, so what else are we eating at Halloween? We're having our sugar cookies. We're having pumpkin, lots of apple stuff. So anyway... Our family tradition was always to make these sugar cookies. And because I am not, um, well, I'm, I'm not, not creative, I'm not. We are the <laughs> least creative people there are out there. I, I really will say, I mean, we can, ugh, I don't I'm, know. We can cook, but we're not that creative when we it comes. We can cook and we can kind of decorate or whatever. Yeah. But when it comes to like creativity with frosting and you know, so well, your your frosting's fabulous, Lizzie. No, no, but no, we just no. mean creating amazing looking things. Um, Can't do it. We're not artsy. Can't okay, do it. not artsy, so crafty. This, so Lizzie, show them. Show them what you grew up on. Okay, so so this, this is hilarious. But we still is... <laughs> we still do this tradition. So we've just we've made some of our sugar cookie frosting. We make it orange. This is in our cookbook. Um, the the recipe that we're using for our sugar cookies is this one, Grandma's Sugar Cookie Cutouts in book one on 265. Oh, my. oh, but we should give them the tip. Okay, did you know that if you actually want to make your frosting like super smooth and really beautiful, if you put your knife in hot water, I will do that a lot of times. That's like my little funny trick that you can make the frosting look super smooth, but... These don't have to be, but I'm just saying if you yeah. want to be super professional, you can do that. That's so a great tip. It's our orange frosting, and it's on page 265 in the first book. There's the recipe, our sugar cookie cutouts. And so this is... So we're making a face. We've got M&M's <laughs> and a candy corn for the nose. And then sometimes we did licorice, but, but I we don't really hate love it. it. Yeah. So you can... <laughs> So this is our little creation. I'm sorry, but the kids love it. <laughs> this is our little food nanny creation <laughs> that we have done for 100 years. Because I'm not artsy, this is what I did for our for my very first Halloween. <laughs> and I was so proud of myself. <laughs> anyway, we've been doing it forever. So, so it's hilarious. But it's super cute, and the kids love it. And you just put out candy corn, and you just put out M and M's, and they can do whatever kind of face they want. They but can the make kids it, do their do it themselves. They, do, they can do it funny. I mean, they can make it different. That whatever. It's just funny and super cute. So we wanted to show you the two different sugar cookie ways, and you could definitely use this sugar cookie as well for ours if you wanted. If you don't want to make the frosting, if you just wanted to make up two different kinds. You don't have to. You don't have to make up. You both. don't have to make up no. both flour. Okay. Um, what is this? Candy corn and Red Hots on a sugar cookie are the best. Yeah. I yes. Know. Red Hots are good too. Yeah. You could substitute some Red Hots for the mouth. You that can. would be cute. 
Yeah, that would be super M &Ms cute. M&M's for the win for 50 years now. I love them on a sugar yeah, cookie. Yeah, no. we're glad you agree. I know. They are so good. And it's I like to joke that she's almost 100, but she yeah. looks better than me. Oh, right. So, so you guys, cute. The, the other thing about the Halloween sugar cookie, make them this week or next. Don't, don't end up making them towards you know, Halloween because then it's too much sugar, too much candy. Enjoy the cookies now over the next few weeks instead of the last couple of weeks when and all that really candy shows freeze, up. freeze, freeze. The freeze the sugar cookies. They're so amazing frozen. It's amazing. Frost we freeze them, every everything. cookie. We freeze, we freeze everything. Every cookie. We freeze every cookie. Okay, so. are there any other questions? I hope that made sense with the cookie. But she wants to show this uh, pesto sauce for tonight's dinner. We've already shown a million things, but we're definitely going to be posting this recipe. So make sure to check it out. Let us know how much you love it. It's super delicious. It's super fun. Have it, have it at your Halloween party. And make the Halloween cookie. It's super fun. We're going to be showing lots of uh, pumpkin and everything. Um, can you post the recipe? I don't have the cookbooks. Yes, we can. Yes, we will how long can you freeze them? Long time. Months. <laughs> Months. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. if you don't have an idea for a party, another fun thing that we always used to do was put strips of paper in a bowl and it would say either trick or treat on it. And so when they come Look how to soft. The, it, they're so good. And so when your guests come to the party, you can do this for little kids or adults. Even little tiny kids can play this game. So they choose one of the strips of paper and it's trick or treat. So if it says to do a little trick, then it can be an, an, such an easy trick as doing a somersault. As, you know, standing on your head in the corner. Anything. So that's kind of a little fun way to have a little bit of a party. Or for your own family. When you get together for... Um, family night or whatever you'd like to do. Okay. Like what somebody said, buy the cookbook. She will not regret it. Thank you so I much. Love you. That's so nice. So in book two, everybody, um, tonight on the menu, on the food nanny menu, well, last night, Lizzie, you said, I haven't made that for a while and you I loved haven't. it. I haven't. I love it. The chicken and noodles over mashed potatoes. If anybody followed our meal plan last night and made that, that is yummy and easy. Super easy. And didn't the kids love it? Yeah, they loved it. So tonight, we're doing a chicken breast. And what we're doing is we're doing a little spin on a chicken breast. If you love pesto sauce, we're doing our homemade pesto sauce, a little bit of sauce on the chicken breast. It's so good. So in book chicken two... Chicken the way that I love yes, to cook the chicken. Yes. Well, and I taught you that way. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> she does, she loves that way. And I love it too and explains it in the meal plan. On page 44 is our pesto sauce in the second book. We're gonna show you how to do it. Look, so I got French cookies from Costco. They are made with your salt from the same place that we buy our salt. Wow. I will send you a picture. Oh, send us a picture. Yes, we use our salt in everything we, everything we cook. So for the pesto sauce. Do you want me just to um, film it, <clears throat> film you? Well, no, sure. Here. Um, whatever you think. So for the pesto sauce, we'll put our fresh basil. Somebody it, said we thought we were the only ones who put uh, chicken soup over potatoes. Oh, gosh. It's, How do it's we flip a, the camera that's on this? That's actually um, a, a recipe from way back in our family. Okay, soup from way back. Okay, here we go with the <clears throat> pesto. So we have all of our fresh 25 leaves. 20 to 25 leaves of our fresh basil. And then we're going to have a half a cup of olive oil right in here like this. And then we have our third of a cup of pine nuts. Yum, these ingredients are so good. It's hard to one get cup this. of fresh Parmesan cheese and one third cup of Romano. Okay, and then we'll add some coarse salt. Yes, the sugar cookie um, lime recipe is different than our Halloween cookie. But we, you can use the same, just it's different frosting. So we have our coarse salt that we've just added. We're going to post the recipe, Nancy. And now some, and now some um, pepper. And now we'll just mix all of this up. No. Whoops. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> um, Lizzie, go ahead. Here, hold this. Okay. <laughs> Two phones, sorry. Okay. Okay. 
So we're just gonna mix this up. Did you add garlic? No. No garlic in here. But you may add garlic. But there's, I've tried many, many pesto recipes and this just happens to be our favorite. And it's so delicious. I like to just warm it up a little bit. Um, yes, hit mama DM me, okay? You can serve it just like this, cold, or you can warm it. But it actually warms when you put it over the top of chicken. So that is homemade pesto. Look at the ingredients and look how delicious. This is so good. You can use this in other sauces, which we have in um, our second book. We have it in one of our, one of our Italian meals. Um, you can use this on pizza. We love it on pizza on occasion and on chicken. It, it's so good. I don't love all pesto and this one's amazing. Mm. So you, you are cooking the chicken with pesto, pesto on it or adding no, it after? we're adding it after. Is the pesto recipe online? <laughs> no, it's just in our book right here, page 44 in the second book. It's super good. So, okay. any questions? <laughs> any questions on that pesto recipe? Okay, you hold the phone and I'll hold okay. the phone. We, you're cooking, you're putting the pesto on it while you're cooking it, right, Mom? No. no after? Yeah, oh, after. After. You're okay. just dressing it with a little pesto. Can or I eat pass it, it with pasta too? Yes. Yes. It's so delicious on pasta. Just literally make any kind of pasta you have and then just mix it into the pasta, you know? Okay, Just mix they, it into the pasta. So they've never heard of that. Is it like chicken and dumplings, last night's meal? Um, it's like chicken and dumplings a little bit, only we pour it over mashed potatoes. It's actually a um, tradition. Yeah, this is hilarious. It's a recipe for, that goes way back in my family. And it's something that my mother was known for. Uh, was oh. for her, uh, was Sorry. Her, chicken, her chicken and homemade noodles over mashed potatoes. It goes way back, way, way back to Europe in our family. And it's so good. I can't have any tree nuts. Anything else you can think of? Um, oh, goodness. Um, just leave it out. Just leave it out. It's okay. Just really? leave the nuts out. Sure. Oh. Yeah, just leave the nuts out. I'm like, I can't. Add, add your garlic instead of the nuts. Okay. <laughs> they Look, the books are not, um, they are a need, not a want. I agree. We have over 400 recipes in our books that I promise you every single recipe you will use. It's, they're sort of- You will of, not hate one of them. And- Not one. And the thing that's so great about them, they're sort of like mix and match. Yeah. Like when you, when you have a good wardrobe, you can mix and match your clothes. Yes. And that's kind of like our recipes. We have, we have many different rices to go along with your meals. We have homemade, everything from homemade noodles to homemade mashed potatoes, twice baked potatoes, you know, Funeral potato. We we have no. Her books are her books are amazing, and like I told you, she locked in herself in her room for seven years. We didn't have a grandma. We didn't have a mom. She worked so 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 hard. It's so hard to write a book. I can't even imagine it. I can't do it. And they are incredible. There's over four hundred recipes, but then there's um you know variations on all of them. There's so many. I tell you so what. That's deserve. where. Yes, we, we tell them what to serve. You give conversation starters. They're worth every penny because you'll never have to rebuy again. They're amazing. And we give conversation starters at the dinner table. A lot of people are afraid to get their family around the dinner table because they're thinking, oh my goodness, what are we gonna talk about? So just look up one of my conversation starters. They're all telling you, your, your books are gold. They're the only books I use. Look how nice. I've made pesto with walnuts and arugula. Yes, I, I have had arugula pesto and it's super good too. I just love pesto and I love it plain on any kind of pasta. Here's an example of a conversation starter for your kids or your family. Who is your favorite Disney character or any character? Talk about it. You know, that's a fun conversation starter for tonight. Try it out when you get your family around Someone the table. Someone said I should do a baked goods cookbook. <laughs> Lizzie should. That. Lizzie, that's your cookbook. Parties and baked goods. Yeah. Yeah, that's Lizzie's cookbook. Because I like treats. 
I yeah. can't get enough. I might have a sugar addiction. <laughs> might. <laughs> no, okay. that's super fun. Okay, so, so, all right. We love you. We're done. We're done. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all your nice, nice comments. Sometimes it's so you. hard to get through all of them. But um, we will be posting the lime recipe at thefoodnanny.com in about the next 10 minutes. Go to our website, always check it out. We're actually gonna be la launching a new website. We keep thinking it's this week, but then it's the next week and it's So soon. hopefully around the Coming 15th. Soon. Hopefully around the 15th, we're gonna have a new website. A new logo. New logo, new it's, us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's super fun. So what are we doing the rest of the week? Okay, the rest of the week, we're gonna be do doing a live on Thursday, talking about rentals. Um, to show you how to, to show you how you can decorate a rental and make it your own. Um, yeah, so, so we, were, we were gonna go to mine, cause I'm in a rental, and then my sister Emily has a rental, but we might have to postpone hers. And then on Friday, we're showing the pumpkin bread, right? Yes, yes, the pumpkin bread, and that is so good. The, the pumpkin best bread. Pumpkin bread you'll ever eat. And um, we need to check my house out too along, along the way, maybe this week. My renovation is coming along nicely. The cabinets just got put in. It won't be done for at least another month or more. I would love to find breadboards on your website. I know. So this is, we... don't worry. This is the fire that's in me this morning. We're going to get, <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I'm fired up. And when I get fired up, we're fired up. <laughs> so look, just give us patience. We've only been doing this. It's almost our one year anniversary. It's almost our one year anniversary. And we did our, you know, 20,000 giveaway. So anyways, we have lots of dreams out there. Don't worry. Our dream is to sell breadboards. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I love you. Don't worry. I think about you all day. We are going crazy, crazy. Um, thinking about you guys all the time. So just make sure to let us know whatever you want to see, what you don't want to see. If you like the lives, if you want more stories every day, please tell us everything that you want because really this Instagram is just, the social media, Facebook too, are only for, it's for you. It's for you. This is what we're doing. We are encouraging you and trying to help as much as we can. We want to try to teach you the true life, la vita vera, which means the true life. And that's gathering family and friends around your kitchen table. Because remember, the conversation is more important than the food. And you need a comfortable place to do that. Lizzie, something else we're going to show is we're going to refresh uh, your kitchen with some Halloween ideas. And that's going to be on Thursday as well. So that's going to be super fun. So join us for that. Don't worry. We'll never run out of things to talk about. <laughs> Literally, look at us. She made us then punch in, put in the pesto. I mean, we've talked your ear off. Okay, everybody's saying more stories. You guys are so consistent and such a joy to watch. Thank you for all your time. Um, oh, we need to show her hot chocolate again soon. Would you use an electric thoffer that she saw one at Ikea? Maybe. Sure. I've never tried one. Oh, that's so nice. Don't worry. From dreams come reality. So dream on. Oh, I'm dreaming so big. <laughs> I would love more stories. I miss you guys when too many days go by. Oh, they oh, love the stories. They want so more nice. stories. Okay, we will try to be all of that. How do I know when you are going live? We need to be better at you, Facebook. I promise that is my goal. I'm trying to be better to our amazing fans. We've this is why we're trying to now do both, is Facebook is like, I don't have an Instagram, so why can't you get to us? So we will give a better heads up to you on Facebook, okay? But, but we're trying for Tuesday and Friday for sure, and one other day, Wednesday or Thursday. But you can count on us on Tuesdays and Fridays, we're hoping. When is your and show on again? So we'll be back on Thursday. No, no. She, I, think, oh. <laughs> I think you mean her BYU TV show. I'm not it's sure. It's just reruns. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Okay. Love you. We're posting the recipe. Make it tonight. You're going to be so, so, so happy. So have a wonderful day. Keep cooking. Your, Your family, family is worth, worth it. it. And we are here. So let us know everything you need. Okay? Bye. Bye. We need to finish.